Oh shit, he did go for that. Run 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 Are you kidding me? Ah! No! 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 Go, Daniel! Run, Daniel! Daniel! Oh fuck! Daniel! Ah! What? Did you can't? No! The door was closed. Come on! I can't open that shit. I'm no. I'm done here. Hey guys, it's Daglas, and I'm playing more Amnesia, and this is, uh, the same night that I got really scared, so I'm going back at it. I want to beat this game. I'm starting to, I don't know why, but things getting scarier is making this game easier. I gotta look around a bit and see if there's another way to open that door, because otherwise that monster's with the weird teethy face thing is gonna... There you go. Hopefully that worked this time. That was a lot easier than I expected. Hope this ladder doesn't break while I'm climbing up it. Oh, okay. Best go the way of the open door. Perhaps not. Okay, I best save my oil. Those chains, man. They're the sounds of death.
Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alex... Tander? Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Agrippa, baby! What's up? Uh, Help me. Uh, who's the switch? Thank you. You have my gratitude. What did that do? My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? I'm Daniel. Daniel. Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically impenetrable, but I guess it's my own. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Then if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken arm and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the uh. center. You should be able to find them there. Can we just like I know you're really, really, really ugly. Dad, but okay. I hate to bother you further, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? Uh, how I know do I do it that? sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? Uh, I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic, to free me from this husk of mine. Yeah, I'll definitely take you with me. First friendly face, to just... Me, I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul to this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Uh, I think, um... Do. All right, I'll be back later, Agrippa. I gotta go look for stuff. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, Agrippa, Agrippa. <laughs> I'm the next best thing. Alexander really fucked up. None of this is Johann Meyer. You never heard of Johann Meyer? My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? I have to go through there. Steal yourself, Daglas. For witches and beasts and all that shit that be bad will be defeated by me. Oh, hey. Wait, I picked up some oil. Yes, I did. Give me that sweet, sweet oil. Um. Madness? Oh. oh my god. 
It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. I don't know what Damascus rose oil is, but... I don't like that. Some sort of torture device. No. Five bucks says, uh, he's Orpheus or he's from the, the underworld. Holy crap. I cannot go through there. Okay, well, we know where the monster is. August 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Yeah, as soon as you start torturing people and then saying God's helping you, you're a little deluded, buddy. I'm glad you came to your senses, but... Fuck, are you kidding me? Damn it. Oh. Bucket of tar. 